Do you need a cheap shrimp aquarium filter? Well, today we are going old school and I'm going to introduce you guys to the Nun filter. And we're starting right now. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about shrimp and shrimp in general, then please hit the subscribe button and bell notification so you never miss another video. Also guys, just quickly before we get started, what is your favourite shrimp filter? Let me know in the comment section below. Right, so when I said this was cheap, I really meant it was cheap cheap. Now you can almost build this from nothing. It is so cheap to make, right? So I'm going to show you guys what you will need uh, to actually build this little shrimp filter, right? And it's not just for shrimp filtration. You could use this in a little aquarium as well if you have goldfish, anything like that. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. What you're going to need is some kind of container, right? And this is going to hold uh, your filter media, right? And the way you want to do this, guys, right, is you have to measure up your container for your... Uh, the height of your filtration, basically. Right, so uh, when I do this type of filter, I like to use uh, the rule of the filter can be at least half the size of the tank itself, right? So let me just show you guys quickly what I mean by this. If you build, uh, just say you're going to build a filter in this tank, if uh, you want the filter to work properly in here, right, what you're going to do is you're going to measure up the filter like this. And you want to measure it from the gravel underneath. Right, and you want to measure at least halfway up the tank and then you're going to cut the ball. Right, you're also going to need a piece of pipe, and the piece of pipe has to be at least two-thirds of the height of the tank from the gravel. Right, So your piece of pipe will be from the gravel here up to two-thirds. And this is to give enough uh, room for the, the air to come out at the end, okay? So let's get into building it. Super, super simple. Tools you will need for this as well, by the way, guys, is basic tools you probably have lying around the house. A pair of pliers, a pair of scissors. Um, a hacksaw as well. We're going to go quickly over the things you will need again for your filter. You will need some kind of filter medium that is uh, quite small in size. You can use pea gravel if that is what you have. Some filter floss and a little piece of pipe. Remember we were just talking about the height. So if I was going to build one in this tank again, let me quickly show you guys. Um, as I said, we'd cut the bottle at half, so this was, would be where we cut here. And then we'd have our piece of pipe, right? So I want my piece of pipe to be two thirds of the size of the glass from the gravel, right? So it's up here, you see? Cut this off, try and cut it maybe one centimeter above where you want to cut it because we're going to bend the plastic as well. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay. Enough blethering, Mark. Let's get on to this. So as I said, you have this measured like so, right, and then you're going to end up with something like this. We've, I've pre-cut this already just to show you how quickly you could do it. And all you have to do with this, guys, is cut around in a circle like this until it's level, okay? And then what you'll need is um, a piece of pipe. Right, I already have this pre-cut as well because I wanted this video to be a little bit faster because a lot of you guys just don't have patience to watch this kind of thing, right? So we have our a uh, piece of pipe that will go in this tank into the filter and this is what it's going to look like basically inside the tank right so remember what we said this is half the size up and the pipe has to be two-thirds of the way up from the gravel to the surface right so that's what's going to look like like this and then the next stage is uh, once you have cut your piece of pipe it has to go into your little container right on the the old way i used to do this would be um to cut a piece of the, the lid off here and we drill holes into the top and we'd insert the pipe into this like this but the, the issue we had with this before guys was a uh, shrimp were able to climb down the inside and then through the holes right shrimp can still do this with this method but it's much it's much more easier to make um, and if you're using a fine enough gravel like I will be using here this is something from Biohome from Ponguru I don't know exactly which one it is but it will be very good for this type of filter, right? So this is what this looks like. To get this part on the end, all you do is cut your piece of pipe at a diagonal like this, one way, and then once you're so far down like a centimeter, turn it and then cut it again, right? So you end up with a cross. 
And then what you want to do guys is you take your piece of plastic and you simply bend over two of the parts, like that, right? And this is where um, your a medium is going to sit on and it will keep your pipe in place. Right, so when we're going to build this now, uh, we ideally want to fill up the medium with at least a quarter of the gravel and then we're going to add uh, this uh, filter floss here and then we're going to fill the rest up with the gravel. I did initially think about calling it the nun filter just because I got the idea from this from uh, nuns in Mexico. I was really impressed in the water quality so I decided to give this filter a go. And so this is how you make it. We're going to fill up our little container here up to at least a quarter full. Get in there. And you see how quite solid that is already and it's not even quarter full right so. Put your filter floss in. We're going to use this big bit here. Put a little hole, push it in. You're going to end up like something like this. See Try and push it in as much as you can. Make sure there's no air gaps. Because you want your filter to be quite efficient. So looking good. And then you're going to fill up the rest with your media, whatever media you have. Hopefully I don't spill this all over the place. Get in there, give it a push down again. And this one actually looks much, much better than the other one I made, but this one is just for demonstration purposes. Which I'll probably swap out with the other filter. Or make uh, useful in another tank somewhere, right? So, just fill it up as much as you can. Keep on putting more in. I will leave a link in the description as well to Ponguru's channel. Because he sent me a ton of stuff that I could use for videos like this for my filtration, right? So, I thought this, this media here would be super, super useful for something like this. Now, how good does that look, by the way? How good does it look? And that is basically it built, right? So then you take it over to your tank. You plop it into position. And remember, guys, as well, uh, to take some water out of your tank when you're doing this, right? Because when you put this in, the volume of this uh, filter will push the volume of the water up, right? So take your filter like this, put it in, and then take your air stone, like one of these ones I have at the back here, and put it into your pipe. Right, and that is how this beautiful little filter works. And I changed to this type of filtration, right, guys, because I have smaller filters, smaller sponge filters, the really small ones, and they're just not effective, right? The, the uh, bio uh, media capacity of the small sponge filters is basically next to nothing, right? So a filter like this will give you tons and tons of uh, place for your ba bacteria to live and grow in. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, uh, comment, leave a like, hit the bell notification, all that good stuff, right? And I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Happy shrinking, guys.